So this is different for the channel. I usually do videos on working on cars, but I got this Chinese motorcycle here. It's a Bashan CR250, also known as the DB47 um, Bashan Extreme. There's many names out there for it. Um, but, ah oh man, I've been riding this for a few days and I just, I love this thing. It's, it's really cool. I didn't have very high expectations, I suppose. But so far it's doing really well. It's got really cool gauges. These are pretty much ripped off from the Honda. I've got 31 miles on it so far. It's got nice gauges. It's got um, a neutral indicator um, and it shows right there first gear it shows you what gear you're in the whole time which is really nice this is the rpms going up right here um it's really cool and right up in here it's got um the neutral indicator of course is up here when it's in neutral and then you've got your turn signals the high beam you know whatever and then the controls on here they're a little weird i've never seen this on a motorcycle this is the lights completely off. This middle part is running lights. And then that is the headlight. I thought the headlight didn't work at first because I didn't have it on there and it was nighttime. And most motorcycles you have, one is always on and then you have high beams, which is what this switch is for. You have your regular light and your high beam. That's what most motorcycles only have. You have the one option. Here, you have multiple options, which I don't really know why they did that. And I kind of am indifferent to it. I don't really care. Um, That's the kill switch, which got a little mangled up from uh, shipping, actually. But not too bad. Um, you know, you have the horn right there usual stuff and it's got okay mirrors I mean I don't like them actually they're not they're not that good um I can see how one side okay the other side's not so good and I just I'm too wide I can't see I can't see behind me very well um pretty much this is like the only thing I can compare it to is I had a ninja 300 that had i think this exact same thing um decent locking cap that's pretty good um i put my own shift lever here because the one that it came with stuck out super far it was kind of crappy um lubed up the chain and all that stuff you gotta do a lot of maintenance stuff when you first get it um it's got a pretty nice tail light, um, and it's got these like flexible um, turn signals, which is kind of cool. I guess that's if you like knock it over or something like that. Um, it's got a really nice exhaust on it. it comes from over here, um, which is kind of like the Hawk style. Um, there's your catalytic converter right there. Kind of snakes through here. Um, it's a really loud exhaust, actually. I don't... This is some sort of rack to hold something? If you know what this is, tell me what this is, because it doesn't really make any sense to me. Um, you know, it's got passenger foot pegs that are pretty good. the it's a two piston caliper 
which I like. That's pretty decent. It's not bad at all. Um, there's the headlight. Very, very nice looking. I think the whole thing is uh, well done. It's nice looking. A little walk around. It's pretty. Um, it came with too many stickers on it. And when I get up close, you can see where I ripped them all off. They did a, basically there's, there was a clear coat here and then they put the stickers on and they did another layer of clear coat. So I don't know if buffing that out might take it all out and that would be cool. So I'm gonna try that. Um, this is the Counterbalance 229cc engine. Um, man, what else can I say about this? I mean, what, I don't know what might be of interest to you guys. Um, I went ahead and I replaced the carburetor with one that was completely adjustable. And this right here, on this side, if you know these, you'll know, this is usually not here. This is an accelerator pump that pushes a little squirt of gas in right when you turn the throttle. So, you know, you'd hit the throttle, a little bit of gas would go in, it gives it a little bit of boost, makes it a, feel a little bit snappier kind of thing. Um, and I've got a 42 Pilot, and I believe I have a 110 main in here, which runs amazingly, runs great. Um, wow, I don't know what's going on with these planes. It's scary. They're loud. Man, it just kind of makes you jump a little because it's so loud. Um, it comes with a little kind of a canister thing to put things in but this is like you can turn this with a screwdriver basically it's not really locked and also it doesn't hold very well so I'm leaving it alone I'm not putting anything in there it's kind of crappy um in here I made a mess with the uh, the uh, chain lube sprayed past it that stuff's hard to clean um so it does have an adjustable rear shock which is very cool um, it's got some upgrades over what your standard Chinese 250 would have. Um, you know, talking about basically, you've got this really nice gauge cluster here. You got pretty nice headlight, tail light. You've got the counterbalance engine. Um, you've got some nice rims on here that are your uh, cast wheels instead of having spoked rims which I like because the spoke rims are some maintenance um, it comes with decent street tires on it um, these things really aren't made for off-road because of their weld quality and everything I wouldn't trust it off-road too much um, this is kind of an adventure bike style which I have well a little bit of dirt to get out to the street and then there's really loosely packed dirt and then it's regular road here um and i have no problems with this whatsoever which i don't think i would have any problems with like you know a regular street bike um, man so i am about 40 minutes away from a military base and i wonder if it has something to do with that um, I've covered about all I can think of. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, this is the first video I've done in a good while. I've had, uh, I've had some medical issues going on. I've been in the hospital, you know, in and out, uh, sometimes multiple times a week. And it's been pretty tiring. And I haven't been doing any work on the car at all. Um, because my, my regular car is the, uh, the CTS. Um, I've been riding this a bit now. I finally was able to ride it a couple days ago. Um, because of my issues in the hospital, I wasn't able to ride for, I've had this bike for about three months now. Um, so just, yeah, let me know what you think. Um, any questions you have, 
because I'm sure I've missed a lot. That's something you might want to know about this. Um, it's a really neat bike. I really, really like it. It was a thousand five hundred bucks, super cheap. Um, uh, I bought it from. I guess that that would be good to know. <laughs> I bought it from Go Karts USA. Um, they're one of the few. There's only three places that sell them right now, and I'm sure as they become more popular, as they come out more, there will be more um, resellers of them and everything else. Um, oh, let me do course whatever he wants you want to hear this thing right I mean come on let me just uh, put it into neutral here that way I've got no choke on right now, so I got to throttle it a little bit just to, to keep it running. Crazy. You know, I should have warmed this thing up before I started the video so that you could just hear a plain natural running when it's already warmed up. But that's on half choke right there. I haven't ridden it since yesterday, and that's just the nature of these carved engines. You gotta play around with the choke a little bit and being with the camera, of course, I'm gonna goof it up, but you know, I just want come around this way, turn it on. I didn't put a whole lot of thought into this video, as you can tell. I mean, well, just let me know what you think, and uh, appreciate the comments. You know, um, whatever you, whatever you think of this, it's it's a pretty cool motorcycle. It's good quality. I like it. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.